Hey everyone, I'm Brian Miller, one of your Associate System Medical Directors. I want to update you on some exciting changes to the upload process for your UE Scope intubation videos. Over the last few months, UE Scope, with a ton of input from the OMD, has worked to streamline the upload process and make it a lot easier for y'all. UE Scope has developed the UE Transfer Apple iOS application to now facilitate the VL file transfer process. This app uses the UE Scope device's internal Wi Fi to connect to the iPad, and then the UE Transfer app downloads all the files from the device and then transmits these files via the iPad's Wi Fi internet connection to a new VL file cloud platform. There are some big advantages to this process. Using this app, the VL files can be uploaded wirelessly and now immediately after a call at the hospital or the scene. This means no more cords and you don't have to wait until you return to a deployment center or a station. We have a universal login for the app now, so there's no longer any issues with remembering your Microsoft login or having any issues logging on. When videos are uploaded, they will also be tagged with the corresponding response number for easy identification. Finally, one of the biggest advantages of the, this is these files will be stored on a cloud-based platform called DeepVin. Having these files on the cloud will now allow us in the future to provide feedback on your intubations and share it with you and allow you to actually review your video along with that feedback. More about that to come though. Now let's quickly go over how this process is going to work. First, make sure your iPad is connected to Wi-Fi. On your iPad, you will then tap the UE Transfer iOS application icon. Once it's pulled up, you're going to enter the Universal Uploader account credentials on the app's home screen and tap Sign In. Next, you will either tap Devices in the bottom left corner or the Device icon in the top left. If the device list is not already populated, you're going to click the blue down arrow to download the system's device list. If the intubation was performed on a MedStar device, flip the UE Scope device over and you'll find the four digit asset ID number. Don't use the longer number with the multiple leading zeros on the white RFID tag. Next, you will type in the search bar your device asset ID number and you should find it listed there. If the intubation was performed on an FRO device, you'll search for the department abbreviation and the apparatus's call sign. If you're unable to find the device in the list, search by the device's serial number, which you can find on the back of the device and under the Wi-Fi tab in the settings on the UE Scope. If you still can't find the device, instructions on manually connecting to the UE Scope are on the last page of the written instructions that we will provide. Please send the OMD an email with a photo of the back of the device if there is a device that cannot be found by both asset ID number and the serial number. Next, make sure the UE device is powered on and click connect to begin connecting to your UE Scope device. You will typically be asked a couple of Apple iOS security pop-up questions, which you will respond with join or allow. Once the Wi-Fi logo turns green, your device is connected and all files on the device will automatically start uploading to the app. At that point, you can tap check out files to track the upload progress of your file or files to the app. Depending on the number and the size of the files, this can take less than a minute or up to a couple of minutes. A big caution here. You are not done once you see the videos have been loaded onto the app. This is only local copies and these are immediately deleted at the end of the session. You must continue with the full upload process to the VL Cloud site for files to be retained and available to the OMD quality team. Once all the videos have been completely downloaded to the app, we need to upload them to the cloud. If all files listed are associated with the same response number, you will be simply clicking the upload button and this will move forward with uploading everything listed. If you need to individually select videos to upload, you can click select and choose the files to be uploaded. The most common reason you will need to individually select files is if the device did not get erased previously and there are leftover files on the device from prior calls or training. After clicking either of these buttons, you will then be prompted to enter a run number. What you're entering here should typically be the MedStar response number. It is not acceptable to leave this section blank. This is almost the only way we will be able to associate the video with your intubation case. After entering the response number, you will click Upload Files, and this will begin the upload process to the DeepVin cloud. As the file or files are uploading, they will have a spinning icon over them, and the file will disappear once successfully uploaded. Please be patient here as this may take some time. For a 10 minute video, or basically when the device timed out, 
This may take about three to five minutes based on our prior field testing. Unfortunately, we're dealing with big files and often limited bandwidth on our mobile Wi-Fi. While you're waiting for the videos to upload to the cloud, you may navigate away from the app to perform other tasks such as image trend charting. The files will continue to upload in the background. Just don't force quit the app by minimizing the app and swiping upwards on the iPad. After all files have disappeared, you're done. The files will be automatically deleted from the iPad and the UE scope device. If you happen to have additional videos to upload, you will repeat the video selection and the upload process for each set of videos. That wraps up all the steps for the upload process. We hope this helps simplify things for you, and we look forward to sharing with you in the future some additional features for feedback using the DeepVin Cloud. As always, let me or one of the members of the OMD know if you have any questions, problems, or suggestions. Until next time, take care and be safe, everyone.